Meredith, let's start with a lineup note. We thought that John Carlos Stanton might be activated today. What's the latest with him? Bob, that is not the case. He is still on the injured list. Aaron Boone said that he is getting closer, but not quite ready to come off the injured list with that left quad strain. And when I spoke to Aaron Boone earlier, he said that Stanton was going to go through another pregame routine, do some more running. One thing they would like to see him do before he gets back is run the bases. He has not yet done that. When I asked whether or not the Blue Jays series was a possibility, Aaron Boone said potentially, but they are not going to push it with John Carlos. Stanton he is so valuable to this lineup but we did see him in the cage the other day and there you see him running on the warning track today so time will tell exactly when he will be back but it doesn't seem like it's going to be too much longer now guys you all mentioned the fact that Corey Kluber is starting tonight and I spoke to Luke Boyd earlier and he said he is excited just having him back out there on the mound brings back fun memories from a week ago Voight went on to say it's clear that he has regained his Cy Young form from a few years Years ago, I asked Aaron Boone exactly how he thinks Corey Kluber will follow up that spectacular outing. He's not, you know, overly emotional about things. He really kind of is able to do a great job of living in the moment, pitch by pitch. Um, you know, I don't think, you know, a, a good result from whether it be a game, whether it be the last batter or a bad result really affects what he does moving forward. That's just how he is. That's who he is. Uh, he's very disciplined. He's very uh, structured, and and um, you know, so I I don't expect you know, obviously the outing that he just had to have any effect on what happens tonight. I expect him to be methodical, know what his game plan is, go out there and try and execute. How unique are those characteristics, and how valuable are those characteristics for a starting pitcher? Um, look, I think I think on some level you've got to have those characteristics to be a successful major league player you've got to be able to deal with successes and failures that are inevitable i don't care how good a player you are um you know i think he's as you know probably about as good as it gets at that and, and is probably one of the reasons why he's been such a successful major league pitcher is because he is um you know obviously very focused very disciplined uh works incredibly hard uh, you know, but I think it's really important in, in our game, but in sports is, you know, the guys that can really live in the moment and not, uh, not be bogged down by failures or successes that just happened the last pitch. And he does a great job of that. And Corey Kluber was the first Yankees pitcher to throw a no-hitter since David Cohn's perfect game in 1999. I spoke with David Cohn, who's doing the game tonight, about how he felt next time he went out on the mound, and he said exhausted, like he needed another week. But he also added that his situation was a little bit different. He woke up the next day, received the key to the city the day after he was on the Kathy Lee and Regis show, so it seemed like he had a lot of activities. He said he doesn't think it's going to be an issue for Corey Kluber. And when I spoke to Kluber the very very next day, he had told me he already turned the page and was focusing on the Blue Jays. As far as tonight's lineup is concerned, you will not see DJ LeMahieu in it, and for good reason. He and his wife Jordan welcomed a baby earlier today, so congratulations to the LeMahieus. And it seems like there are a lot of baby bombers being born lately. Rugnet Odor and his wife welcomed a baby girl last week, and Luke and Tori Voigt will be next. Luke Voigt was asked about that earlier today, and he said there was a little bit of a scare on Sunday. They thought that his wife, Tori, was going to give birth, but it was a false alarm. Uh, it looks as though she will be induced on Friday. He is very much looking forward to joining that fatherhood club. As far as what's going on at the plate right now for Luke Voigt, he's played in just 11 games, 40 at-bats, and I asked him how he's feeling. Mentally, I feel great. You know, I've been hitting some balls hard, and I got to take positives. Obviously, I'm, you know, hitting 175. That's uh, not good at all. You know, I've been a little frustrated, and um, uh, I just got to, you know, yesterday was a great day off for me to flush everything, you know, and, you know, it's kind of just starting my season today and uh, going with a good attitude, smiling, having fun in the clubhouse, and, uh, you know, got a lot of work, good work in today, and, you know, just uh, go out there and control what I can control and hit the ball hard. Did you feel like just because you did miss a little bit of time in the beginning of the season, you, you were pressing trying to do too much to make up for lost time? Was that a, any of it? I mean, sure. I mean, um, you know, it was nice to get that first home run on the way in Texas. And, you know, 
my second at bat of the season too. I got hit in the hand, and you know it was kind of bothering me for a little bit. Um, but you know I, I was finding ways to get through it, and you know I just swinging at bad stuff. You know I was in 0-2 counts every at bat it felt like, and you know I just was finally glad like I was going out there with like no approach and just swinging. Um, and you know it happens, um, but you know what? I got to get back to the drawing board like I did today, and you know just start the season over and uh, go out there and you know. Uh, Control the zone. I know everyone keeps saying control the zone, control the zone, but you know I gotta get in good counts and swing at pitches that I can do damage on.